Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. When it comes to retrieval augmented generation or RAG, similarity search is one of the cornerstone of a successful RAG pipeline. What happens in a RAG pipeline is that you just take your own data, you split it into smaller chunks, you convert those chunks into numerical representations or vectors or embeddings, then you store those embeddings or vectors in a vector store. Then an index is created on that uh, similar data within your own vector store. And then whenever a user asks a query, the data is retrieved from that index as per similarity search. And there are a lot of algorithms there. And then that returned similar data is augmented with the prompt. And then it is given to the LLM for a grounded response. Mostly when we are playing around with stuff or we are checking out our new rag pipelines one of the most common vector store used is FIS. FIS is very widely recognized standard for high performance vector search engines it is widely used not only in um, playgrounds in development environments but in the production environment too that is where this use search offers an alternative of files it is always good to have a choice now this use search aims to be an um, more performant more um, how should i put it um, maybe with a little bit less footprint in the memory i would say so it is small it is fast it is quite agile it not only offers similarity search for vectors but soon it is also going to offer a string similarity search too, which will be really awesome. Both usearch and files employ the same HNSW algorithm, but they differ significantly in their design principle. Usearch is compact and broadly compatible without sacrificing performance. And that is uh, its hall of fame that it is striving to be way faster than files. If you have built any production grade pipeline, uh, for RAG in, uh, by using FIES, you know what it means. So in this video, we are going to install usage locally and then we will see how it works with a small example. Before I show you the example, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So this is my Ubuntu system where I'm going to install this. And I have one GPU card from NVIDIA, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM, courtesy Mast Compute. Let's first create a virtual environment and then we will install this usage and we will see how it works. Our environment is created. Let's install usearch. The command is very simple pip install usearch. It's very lightweight. Mostly it installs this uh, numpy and usearch and with tqdm with, uh, for progress. And um, numpy stands for numerical python and it is used mainly for numerical computations when it comes to multi dimensional arrays. And that is what we are going to do with this usearch because all of this ragging, all of this numerical representation. Uh, it happens on the matrices. Okay, let's clear the screen. Let's launch my Python interpreter. And then we first thing we need to do is to import both NumPy and usage. That is done. Next up, let's define an index. And this is the index in the vector store in usage where we will be storing our uh, multidimensional array. So let me give it this three dimensional array and I have just put in some of the random numbers there. Now, what is happening in this code, which I'm going to show you is that this code is creating a search index for 3D vector and performing the operations of like we have created the index and then we have added a vector which has stored these three values and then let's give this all of this vector a unique ID 42. And you see it has defined this and then let's try to do the similarity search or matching with a very simple code so first up let's match it with this vector now what this code is doing it is simply 
uh, running a match with this index dot search in this code and now you can assert it for example look at this one so because we has assigned the key 42 here to this vector so when we assert it it is simply going to give us true uh, because assert doesn't uh, return any error if it is true so for example if you print it you are going to get the sorry you're going to get the true here there you go so if it would be error then assert will give you the error now similarly if you give this command again what this command is doing is fairly interesting and this will give you the idea what exactly this is doing now what this is doing it is searching for the distance with the nearest neighbor now what exactly that means so this assertion which assert matches zero distance this checks if the distance between the original vector this vector uh, is near to the first match one so primarily what we are doing we are matching it by itself so because in this case the first match vector is the original vector itself because we have added this vector to the index 42 and then we are searching with the same so we are primarily comparing the vector because it is a match is zero with itself so this should be true now uh, this use search library uses a distance metric for example cosine similarity or euclidean distance to calculate the similarity between vectors so for euclidean distances the distance between a vector and itself is always zero by the way okay now similarly let me show you another interesting command which will give you a bit more information so look at this one now okay so i think oh sorry you see i missed the a here at the start that is a copy paste error so let me put a here there you, go, you see it is also true now let's try to understand what this command is doing so this command is checking if the vector stored in the index with id 42 is identical to the original vector uh, this one within a certain tolerance so and this is true and why this is true we previously added the vector to the index with id 242 using that index.add command if you remember here so when we retrieve the vector from the index using index 42 we should always get the same vector now what this is doing np.all close so np dot all close is checking if the two arrays in this case vectors are element wise equal within a specific tolerance and then you see we are using this a tall parameter here a tall stands for absolute tolerance it specifies a maximum allowed absolute difference between corresponding elements of the two arrays in this case at all is equal to 0 0.1 which means that the absolute difference between the corresponding element of index 42 and vector should not exceed 0.1 and that is why it is true so this assertion is passing because the vector stored in the index with id 42 is identical to the original vector within the specified tolerance which is very low 0.1 so this assertion is verifying that the index correctly stores and retrieves the vector so this is what this whole idea is now why we need to learn this that is a main question uh, the reason is because if you are building a production grade rag pipeline and you are not getting the proper results back because a lot of these tools they add abstraction on top of it so but i can tell you from experience that if you're building a real production grade one you would have to go into this nitty-gritty you might have to build these uh, vector store you have to play around with these parameters these functions and then if scalability and speed is your requirement which i'm more than sure would be because if user is curing the vector store and or llm you need you know instant responses so as much time as you could reduce from this pipeline that is always welcome so that is where you can play around with these parameters to make sure that your index is created right your data is right 
there is no garbage in garbage out and your similarity searches are working not only that you can also play around with different algorithms for similarity search and that is what this use search is offering us so that's it i know pretty dense but i'm more than sure that if you are working at production level looking for a uh, faster solution than files uh, vector store i think use search could be a good alternate I will drop the link to it in video's description. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.